Okay, next up we have pretty much everyone's favorite pet cockroach, and that is the uh, Madagascar hissing cockroach, or the Granfadorina portentosa. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Never took Latin. But, anyway, these are everybody's favorite roach. The very hissy, you know, very large cockroach. And there's a small nymph crawling around in here. And... This colony, I started out with six adults last year. Um, right around Christmas time, I had babies, and it is uh, October right now, so most of those babies have grown almost to an adult size or pretty close to it. Um, I keep them in a pretty small container right now. I need to get a large one for them uh, since they are almost all adults now. This is actually pretty tight uh, in here for them. But you can see the various sizes. Yeah, and... Here's a female, if I can pick her up. You can see there's not really any horns on her head here, or her pronotum, rather. Uh, it's relatively smooth. And she is probably pregnant. Um, that's pretty fat for one of these females here. Let's see if I can find the male down in here. The males tend to hiss a little more. This is a male. You can see these horns on their pronotum. They use those as kind of like a jousting tool. They butt heads with the other male cockroaches. And uh, that's just for territory and mating rights. Um, I keep mine on cocoa fiber, just like I keep all of my roaches. That keeps down smells and keeps moisture in and all that. I keep them in a regular cr critter carrier um, with screen put on with a little bit of that aluminum packing tape or uh, pipe tape, whatever you want to call it. Um, I talked about in the other videos. And that keeps any first instar nymph in the container in case they happen to get over the Vaseline barrier, which is actually really unlikely. I've never had an escape. And the first instar nymphs, they don't climb very well through that Vaseline. But the adults, uh, once they get it on their feet, they can't really climb at all. Um, once they get... You can see this guy can't even grip. This isn't even an adult. That's like a sub-adult there. And he can't grip the side at all. And that's because he has that Vaseline stuck in his, um, I don't know if it's hairs or sticky pads or whatever is on their feet. And they, they get kind of, uh, I guess in trouble with that. They can't climb, you know, so that always works out pretty well. Um, it's easier to contain them. And you can see all the different colors you get in these guys from chestnut, auburn, you know, almost completely black. Um, you know, there various colors. And this is all from the same you know, six that I got from uh, this one guy's colony. And, you know, they, they could be hybrids. There's no way for me to really know. But they uh, they come in a lot of different colors. That's pretty normal for hissing cockroaches. Um, that's not out of the ordinary at all. And most people can't even agree which species or genuses of Madagascar roaches in general, not just like the regular Portentoso, but the other kinds. Um, they can't really agree which ones are legitimate species anyway, so I don't really worry about it too much. I figure they'll sort it out eventually. Um, you know, it's a relatively small container. I'm going to increase the size of this to probably one of these 24-quart containers like I have my lobsters in. And just kind of give them a little bit extra area to move around. It's a little tight in here. But I feed them fruits and veggies once a week um, and a handful of dog food just to get them some protein in the diet. Uh, the adults, I keep them mainly as breeding stock. The nymphs, up to about half size nymphs, I'll feed to like my, you know my bearded dragon over here who's scoping out the tank right now. She's pretty interested in them. Um, but anything larger than that, like the adults especially, I wouldn't feed to a bearded dragon. Their their shell, their exoskeleton is just way too hard uh, for you know a, a sub adult bearded dragon to really gnaw through. But I've seen people feed them to them, and I guess it's okay, but I prefer to use smaller riches. Um, I usually feed her the lateralis instead. That They're a lot easier chewed up. But anyway, that's my little Madagascar hissing cockroach con container. And All right. Next, I'm going to move on to everyone's favorite cockroach, the American.